tell you um, the story, people might uh, rush to say, is the coach is uh, oh, It's not. Uh, this problem has been there, uh, you see, 20 or 30 years back. Uh, there are a lot of uh, people involved in this thing. Why strikers don't score? You can see the papers in front of me. That's something I was just writing during the holidays to say we need to talk about this thing. First of all, the Ministry of Sport, we have to come with a policy in how we develop more. Listen here. It's not that. It's nothing to do with technically. Technically, not more doing. It starts at school. Every kid, a boy or a girl, his or her soccer career starts with a teacher. We need to educate teachers. I know there are situations where they've been having coaching courses for teachers for nothing. Those level one courses, they are half packed. The curriculum of coaching in school are different to a curriculum of coaching Islanders or coaching a first division team. Teachers need to be taught how to coach a school. When it's got one ball, two balls, three balls, what is it? Is this supposed to be? Take for instance, I can tell you now. When you are coaching a school or a junior kids, when you are having your team talk at half time, you don't talk to them standing. You talk to them, you sitting down, so they can take you as one of them. That's the way we need to start. Recently, I had a workshop with teachers and fellow boys. And the teachers, the two call, say to kids, number seven, number eight. And they ask the teacher, Mr. Dewey, when a kid see Ronaldo putting 77 on his jersey, what does the kid think? Which, which position does he play? You see, <laughs> let me tell you, you know, it's, it's actually funny. Even now, there are certain players now, I can tell you, in Premier League, We've been soccer stars now. Yeah. We don't even know what people think he is. Because when he started his career, the teacher didn't know what people think he is. And he grew up like that. Time. From there, that one, I don't want to, because I have to go. Secondly, we come to Zipa. You get to Zipa. Zipa must. They have meetings with the schools whereby they interact the university clubs, the district clubs, the social clubs to make sure that when they talk Zipa and they go to the Ministry of Sport, we yet do it to start with good facilities in schools. Eh? Take for instance now, most of these schools, eh, the SDA, the school development company, they go and buy a bus of a half five hundred thousand US dollars eh, to be used as sport. Eh. You buy the school, the ground there's no lawn, there's no mess, they are not even built the school. The kids are still wearing the uniform which love more used to wear in 1979 as a school uniform. How did you develop football? We need to have good facilities, school facilities, a school which must be a policy coming from the Ministry of Sport. That every school must have a good pitch, a school. Hence, you find now even our players in Premier League, they cannot pass a 20, 30 meter pass straight to its destination because. For the 18, 20 years, he's been playing in a bumpy pitch since he left school. 
How do you run a football locker? This is what I'm saying. No, 